بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم so now in this section we'll try to see the classification part now before we do any kind of quality of service mechanism whether you want to apply any priority or whether you want to guarantee any specific bandwidth or whether you want to do any kind of anything like queuing or shaping anything you want to do the first step of the quality of service uh, is you need to do classification because if you don't classify all the traffic will be treated equally so you are receiving let's say you are receiving the vip traffic or video traffic and also you are using some kind of database traffic let's say sql and or receiving some internet traffic like ftp http or smtp and also you have some other traffic so let's assume that we have this three different categories of traffic and all the remaining traffic we just classified as other all the remaining so if you don't classify and tell by default all these tra uh, traffics are treated equally and again that is what the default by default all the traffic is treated equally and by default there is no quality of service and by default it uses first in first out that's a default behavior okay so the first step you need to tell to the router you need to tell to the device that hello hello router or hello switch now this is my vip traffic that should that i want to prioritize but again the first step you must identify the traffic and then categorize that into different classes again we'll be using some class maps in terms of configurations uh, we need to create a separate class maps to match those separate traffics we'll see the configuration a little bit later okay so the first step we need to classify and once we do classification then i can give priority for specific traffic or i can do policing i can do shaping i can do queuing or i, I can drop i can tell drop the excess traffic these all the things so this classification has to be done like i said without classification all are treated equally and for each class of traffic we require a separate treatment now the next thing okay now we want to classify the next thing is we need to understand based on what factors we are going to classify so there are different options we can use like we can use some layer one options like uh, some selecting the specific interface like let's say you got a router and the router is connecting to three different uh, interfaces so i want to match all the traffic which is coming from this interface we can uh, we can say okay tra inter traffic coming from this interface traffic coming from this interface should be treated separately you can do that based on ports the physical interfaces or sub interface or any port you can also do this based on the mac address or the layer 2 bits there are, there are some uh, marking bits at the layer 2 we will talk about this in the marking section a little bit later we can also use some kind of marking values which can also be used to differentiate the traffic with different marking values or even we can use something called experimental bits now this experimental bits will be using in case of mpls so if you are running an mpls core network then probably it is going to carry the mpls header in that there are some experimental bits which will be used to classify there is there are some different values like 0 to 7 where the 7 is considered as high priority traffic 0 is considered as low priority traffic so probably there are some values in that it can also be based on some experimental bits uh, more common in mpls networks or even it can be based on the layer 3 address like the source address you can say if the traffic is coming from one dot network if it is going to two dot network we can match based on the source or we can match based on the destination or you can match based on the combination of both we can say okay this traffic should be matched based on the acl uh, we'll see some examples later on or it can be based on some layer 3 marking there are some layer 3 marking values we'll be seeing in the marking section called ip presidents uh, dscp differentiated service code point values so these values also will differentiate the traffic just like 
uh, there will be some values from zero to seven. Seven is high priority. Zero is like the lowest or the best effort. Similar way, we can match the traffic based on TCP UDP ports, uh, all the traffic on UDP or TCP, just like ACLs. We can also match based on the layer seven that is based on the application. Now, this is something you may want to do, like uh, most of your routers and the switches, they do something called deep packet inspection. Now, with the help of deep packet inspection, uh, there will be some deep packet inspection engine inside the devices, which is going to classify and identify the different types of protocols. And they can identify the information from layer three to layer seven data. Just like you are running some HTTP application and maybe you're using a different port. Let's say I'm using 8,000 port. So it is not just seeing the layer three or the layer four information. It actually uses what is the actual application running in the backend. Based on that, it can take uh, specific actions according to that. Like, like most of the applications uses TCP, UDP, uh, dynamic port numbers with changes or a specific applications. Because now, now this network-based application recognition feature, now this feature is something you will find inside the devices which can recognize thousands of applications. Like uh, there are different types of applications like let's say a WebEx application or uh, specific like torrent applications and these applications will be updated dynamically in in most of the today's router engines so you don't need to really do any kind of ios upgrades or reload to do this like youtube applications so there are uh, plenty of application options you can say so inside the class map we have an option called match protocol and when i say question mark then you will see uh, there is a big list of uh, options uh, which you can match. Now, again, to quickly verify this, I just started the router here. And if you go to the command line, so, so what we'll be doing here is we will be creating a class map. Now, these class maps are being used to classify the traffic, which means in my case, I'm going to use, uh, let's say the class map is class one. And there is an option called match. And when you say match, you have the different options here. The different options, as I said, we can match a specific destination address or input interface, input interface from which interface, or even I can match based on specific protocol. Now protocol is nothing but, we will be using this application-based, network-based application recognition feature. And when I say match a protocol, it's going to show me the different list of uh, applications, what it supports. Like here, you can see there are uh, plenty of application list here. So again, this can be updated normally in the iOS versions. You can see uh, Cisco phone or Cisco IP camera application. So they will be doing the inspection from layer four to layer seven. Even if you, if you just say, use some specific options here you can you can see there are different a uh, different set of applications now now you need to identify the applications like identifying a normal protocols like ftp or http or even you can uh, say like uh, any other uh, specific applications here you can see there's a big list of applications and that's what most of the ios they do support not only that you can identify based on uh, you can match the traffic based on all these options here. Now, there is one more option you can use. Probably in some advanced scenarios, we can use something called QS groups. Now, these are uh, locally significant values which will be used uh, for the router to classify the traffic. We will be using multiple classes, multiple categories. We can combine them into one group and we can use that group little bit later on uh, to, to give some special treatment for the traffic. So these are the different options which can be used to classify the traffic. So mostly the configuration wise, it's going to be more a uh, kind of simple here. 
where you just need to say class map and create some a class map and then we say match and where you can specify what type of traffic you want to match whether you want to match any incoming interface or any other values even uh, we'll, we'll try to see some more options like presidents dscp values probably once we get into the next sections 